my name is Jerry Oliver. I'm a teacher and I enjoy to share with you my teaching philosophy. The world needs great teachers. Becoming a great teacher is not simply teaching, but touching the lives of students that may affect good change for the betterment of each individual's lives and society. It is not about sticking to conventionalism, but opening oneself to the present time needs where technology is fast developing. It is not teacher-centered oriented teaching, but a learner-centered approach in managing the, the learning of the desired content and skills. It is not spoon-feeding, but facilitating and assessing the learning of the students. It is not confined inside the four walls of the classroom, but it is exploring the realm of curiosity and imagination. It is not only about profession, but it is also a form of vocation, a calling with any passion to guide students to their own destination. And also, it is not about mediocrity, but persistency of reaching the best quality of education. Now, let's talk about the nature of the learners. For more than a couple of decades, Pitsanulok Pitayaum School, a well-known government secondary school in Pitsanulok, Thailand, has been producing hundreds of thousands of students, including the science, mathematics, and technology program students. This math program is an educational program that aids students who are good in the fields of science, maths, and technology. The language of instruction used in math classes is mostly in Thai and some few English. The math students are the selected few from different schools who pass the qualifying exam and interview. Most of the students of this program have good linguistic knowledge. However, they have low self-esteem and communicative competence toward the English language. In spite of those, some of them are inclined with interpersonal skills and intrapersonal abilities, equipped with logical and analytical thinking skills. Linguistic skills and blessed with musical visual and physical abilities in learning various sets of knowledge, skills, and values. Talking about my teaching strategies. I am a promoter of Cooperative Task-Based Learning Method or CTBL. The interest of these two methods is based on the potentiality that they offer in responding to the learner's communicative needs, especially in developing the student's English-speaking skills. According to Arian Scholar, in task-based learning method, cooperative learning groups are engaged in a variety of classroom activities which allow the students to help one another to explore the target language they need to solve the problems set in the real-life task. They added that utilizing the target language for genuine purposes gave learners the opportunity to apply the language they know. Based on my experience, the CTBL method is an effective tool for teaching speaking among EFL or English as a foreign language to young and adult learners.
The teacher's role in the classroom is very critical, in which it influences the life of the students in a large scale effect, and also it guides the students in the right path of learning. As a facilitator, I believe that teacher must guide and assess students to think and create their own ideas through documentation, exploration, and experimentation. As a motivator, I motivate my students to learn the subject matter, whether through rewards or positive praises. It makes the students to become more goal-oriented individuals and interdependent learners and boast their level of self-confidence and interpersonal skills while making connections to other group members. As a monitor, I monitor my students' group performances and individual's progress. This helps my students to develop a sense of individual accountability and positive interdependence. As an assessor, I assess my students' learning and performance, and I acknowledge group coordination and effort towards success. I also provide feedback to help my students to improve their teamwork skills in the future. As a role model, I believe the teacher epitomizes leadership, good decision making, interpersonal skills, morals, and positive attitudes, which are worth imitated by the learners. As a communicator, I suggest that teacher must have an excellent command of the target language. He or she guides and practices the students to use the target language as accurate as possible. When I teach English speaking skills in my class, I sort out classroom activities that are authentic, skill using, purposeful, real life, motivating, whole task practice, and varied, which are used to improve the learner's ability to anticipate the oral communication needs that may emerge in any conversational context. Yes! First, I try to understand them and I go and talk to them and we just talk what happened, what the problem, and we fix it. And we try to be a good friend and that has become a, a, better, a better situation. Okay, thank, thank you! you. In assessing the learning of my students, I used formative, direct, performance reference, and authentic assessments. I used formative assessment, which is an integral part of an instructional program that helps teachers and students in monitoring the learning and improving the teaching in a language classroom. I used direct assessment which provides holistic information or inferences upon observing a language performance of my students. I also used performance reference assessment 
which assesses students' language abilities in a real-world situation, whether they can use the target language with communicative competence or not. And lastly, authentic assessment, which uses real-world task task to measure the learner's competencies and skills in an authentic situation through the use of target language. All of these assessments are the characteristics of task-based language assessment or TBLA. Indeed, great teachers always shine and leave footprints on the minds and hearts of their learners. They are the makers of the better future and the source of inspiration of the many successful people of our generations. Henry Adams was once said, great teachers affect eternity. We cannot tell when the influence stops. Thank you. Thanks for watching.